to upgrade it. Same as what they did last event, or last time I was there. Um, but the the thing is that whenever they do, obviously, like the incentives to upgrade the things, it always just means I'm doing that thing. So, like, I'm, like, kind of practicing regular GTA 3, but at the same time, there's, like, no point because the chance of me doing regular GTA 3 is nothing. But then I don't want to touch... I don't want to not touch regular GTA 3 because it would be really embarrassing if we don't hit the incentive and then I'm like, I don't remember how to fucking play this category. You know? So at least if I learn it, like, a little bit, then I won't, like, completely embarrass myself. That's the idea. I fucking hate that lineup, by the way, going through the trees like that. It sucks. The one time you don't prepare it, you have to prepare it. Exactly. So I'm preparing like 10% vanilla, 90% everything else. Am I going to UKSG? Yeah, uh, I'm running. Would it be funnier without prep? Oh, yeah. Funnier, absolutely. But at the same time, I still have, like, reasonable standards of my runs. And recently, my marathon runs have not been hitting that standard, so... Hopefully, UKSG will... You know, be, like, a redemption of some kind. I'm running to UKSG? Yeah, I'm gonna sprint all the way up to Scotland. I'm gonna set off tomorrow, and I'll be there by the end of my... Is Liv also going? Yes, she is. You can have a gal pal. Relax. <laughs> I'm so unused to a run that doesn't reset upon not meeting a taxi a minute and 30 seconds in. Yeah. Kind of why Duplis is a bit more fun as well, because there isn't as much luck involved. There's still a ton of luck involved, but... Liv is there. Might be worth tuning in then. Yep. People might actually come to you, KSG, now. Now the news is, is broke. Okay, now I remember to make the replay. Good job, Ben. You're a natural. In fact, can you just not come? I'll just stay in the hotel room, it's fine. She can do all the, the important stuff. Sounds like a plan. Imagine having any pals IRL. Yeah, can't relate. I I've said I would do that once she gets a respectable time, Mackenzie. Gotta have a bit of elitism, you know? To incentivize. What, like a 52? Yeah, something like that. Sub me. 53. I'll, I'll, I'll let her off with a 53. No, I, I said sub one. Sub one.
Liv gets sub me, I'm actually going to be so upset. Same. It would be. I would have to go back. I can't possibly let her be better than me. That's the thing that I'm good at. Absolutely not. Never in a million years. Wouldn't be seen dead below her on the leaderboards. In any category. Not not to be immature and pathetic or anything, but wouldn't be seen dead. Not even top 100. I'm almost not top 100. And when I got that time, I was like fucking 29th or some shit. It's crazy how much the VC leaderboards are different now. Should submit her run under the name Eben could never. Yeah. Proper spit in my face. I respect it. Fucking Cardi spawn, but there's another one right there. Oh, it's gone. Come back. I need it. How is that not a wanted star? God's sake. I shot a fucking pedestrian right there, dead. You've been 84th? Yeah, legit. But that's the thing is it like never became more free. It's just m hundreds more people are playing the game at a higher level now. Whatever happens to you in demo racing? I mean, I don't think anything like necessarily happened to it. But, I mean, he, he needs to beat the regular game first. Needs to get his proper god run, you know? In order to do that, he wants to do uh, SANMG a bit more, so. I think that's where he's at right now. You both should run to your cash, do you? He might even beat me. Even though he's running from all the way from Australia and I'm in the same fucking country. He might still beat me. He's that quick. Basuk. Somehow dodged a trigger. Good shit. Yo, NZO, welcome. Oh, what's this? this? It should, in theory, be just as fast and more consistent times, though. It shouldn't lose any time.
Because the only annoying thing is having to uh, deal with, like, Van Heist movement. With, um... We've not been able to sprint. But, I mean, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. Rip. Go, Lola. Thank you. A subpar gamer. Thanks for the prime. Subpar underscore gamer forty seven just subscribed. Thank you very much. What, what a weird set of sports. Gain, lose, gain, lose, gain, lose. And watch the car. Joey just fixed this junk heap. So no fancy crap, okay? Wait here. Keep the engine running. This ain't a social call. Like, how did I lose 26 seconds on Run Heist? Doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> if you, Hulk Hogan, and a lion got into a fight, why would you annihilate them both? That's simple. I would simply get the lion to maul Hulk Hogan, and then while the lion is on top of Hulk Hogan, I would Hulk Hogan leg drop them both. And it would just be over. Two for one. Twelve marks, let's go. Here's where we start losing time. We don't have the M16. Oops. Hey Brazilian Sigma, welcome. Beat GTA 5 for the first time since release yesterday. Nice. What did you think of it? Did you have a lovely time? Ah! Fun story, shit side missions, yeah. Side content in 5 is pretty wank. Oh my god, what a horrific pattern this is. At English Ben, are you friends with Joshimus? I wouldn't say friends. He's just like a big fan of mine, you know? It's kind of like a parasocial relationship. Yo, Bobby, welcome. Old married couple, yeah. Colleagues, yeah. Fellow influencers. This is legit like the worst Van Heist pattern I've ever seen. Disgusting.
peep how much time I lose here. Look at this. Over a minute. <laughs> Fucking gross. Legit like a minute and a half down the drain. Hey Tatra Tatrax, welcome. Thank you for the kind words. Welcome. What is this? Traffic. Been reaching worldwide. Yeah. Mr. Worldwide, that's what they call me. Officer, fuck off. Yo, James, thanks for gifting him a sub. Chicken Man 42 gifted Tetrax underscore 06 a subscription. Chickenman42 gifted a tier 1 sub to Tetrax underscore 06. They have given 74 gift subs in the channel. Bless up, James. You've ruined your 73 gift subs, though. How tragic is that? Shout out all the Indians. <laughs> Yeah, boaty number's gone. Rip. Who's the fucker with the hundred gifters? Might ban him. Nah, he's a boy, don't worry. I can vouch. He's supporting my full-time endeavors, James. You can't ban people. I'll end up on the street. Give to sub to all 1.3 billion Indians. G give me a name of all their Twitch accounts. The when chat forced you to order takeout. Oh yeah, when they yeah forced us to go and uh, go and eat out. Yeah. The peer pressure, man. The things I do for you guys. Unreal. What did you eat? So we went out uh, on the weekend. Liv didn't know what she wanted, so we went Mackey's, because she always likes Mackey's. That's a bullshit star, by the way. Run over one person in a zone where I can get stars, and of course I get a fucking star. Um, yeah, and then we went to uh, the seaside the next day on the Sunday. Went to like a retro gaming cafe that had opened up and then we had fish and chips out on the beach. Which was nice. So we did that weekend. No fancy crap. Banger, it was banging. Go ask our fuck em. Love a good chippy, same. The one near the seaside here is so good. I'm in a blessed place because my local one is really good and the one near the seaside is good as well. So it's like ideal. Like both of them are proper belters. Can you guys stop fucking stunlocking me? I legit can't move by the way. I can't move at all. I'm completely stuck. I'm trying to reverse and I'm trying to go forward. Fucking hell. Great physics game.
We're in the UK. Do you live anywhere? Yeah, I'll just fucking send out my address, man, real quick. C c c we'll do a meetup at the chippy. I'll show you how good it all is. Drop us a pin, yeah. Send you the coordinates over, mate. Hold up. Did you see that retro gaming event that was on at Doncaster Dome? No, I didn't. What, what was it? What was it about? Ben lives in West Gloucestershire. Something, something, suck on Willy, quite delightful, West Gloucestershire, catch the rifle. It's the UK, there aren't that many chippies, you'll find them eventually. Yeah. You got like a one in five shot. I've been in the right place. Hey, DJ End Zone, thank you. There's an exhibition of lots of playable games from over the years. Oh, sick. Oh, I didn't know that was going on. That would have been cool, though. I don't know why I spun around. It's not faster to do that. Whatever. Whatever. myself for the first time in a long while and you, you know you treat me really good with respect and everything okay let's not fuck this up Ben like you have Dean done the other like three times you've tried this I beat GTA 3 two years ago for the very first time but I did the any percent route not all missions I mean you beat it doesn't matter if you do all missions or not. What did you think of the game overall? Because so many people like this game just for nostalgia reasons. It's rare that you see that people have beaten it for the first time as like an adult, you know? So I'm always curious what people think who have beaten the game in that circumstance. I did that. I mean, so did I. I beat GTA 3 for the first time on stream. Like, all the way back in 2017. Sadly, the VOD isn't available, otherwise I would definitely watch it. It'd be quite funny, I think. Hey, that the game doesn't have a proper map? Yeah, that is very annoying. There's a reason they immediately fixed that in Vice City. Because it was like so many people complained about it. Let's get rid of this fog as well.
GTA 4 was the first uh, game I completed without cheats. It was the first one with checkpoints. GTA 4 doesn't have checkpoints, though. Or did you mean 5? Because the only checkpoint that GTA 4 has is um, is in the final mission. It's split in half as a checkpoint. Might have been five then. The, the other thing that makes it uh, better in four is you keep your weapons if you die. You don't have to rebuy weapons every time, so you don't have to like save scum as much. Maybe that's what helped you. Yeah, it also has instant mission replay, so you don't have to drive back every time. That's also true, yeah. Imagine actually beating games as a kid, yeah. I have so many games like that where I remember just getting like halfway through and just never beating it. Ooh, excuse me. I use cheats when I play GTA 4 now. I don't use them anymore. Yeah, I mean, I'm the same. I don't use cheats in like casual playthroughs anymore. Unless I'm doing it for like a particular reason. But when I was a kid, I would use cheats and stuff all the time. <clears throat> Worst case in Starfield. It's boring and I don't want to go back to it. I mean, then don't. Starfield is a shit game. <laughs> if you don't want to play it, don't play it. Better to use cheats in speedruns. True. True and real. That's why I'm going so fast because I'm cheating. I think everyone had a uh, a thing of all the cheats. We definitely did. Like yeah, I still remember the can L1, L2, R1, R2, left down, right up, left, left down, right up, and stuff like that. I know SA lost on us like at the back of my hand simply because when I was a kid I could never progress any further, yeah. I think a lot of people had that. I definitely played SA as a kid. I have like very limited memories of playing it, but I know that I never made it out of LS as a kid. No for a fact, because I didn't remember any um anything further than that from like nostalgia, like memories. I remembered LS, but nothing else. Ah, uh, yeah, she just gets stuck on that thing. Nice one. Motherload in Sims, yeah. I remember, I don't remember which game it was. I want to think it was Sims 2, where if you use cheats, I didn't set the bomb. Whoops. Uh, where if you use cheats, um, you would, you would get like a little like gnome or something that you could place somewhere. And that would, uh, and that would like allow you to like open a menu and basically, basically like a fucking cheat menu. And you would get like a lot of, uh, money and stuff. I remember doing that.
I would love this cop car. It'd be amazing. Thank you. Same. Let's wait for one second. Got all mission challenges for Black Ops 2 printed out, still hidden somewhere in the house. Yeah. I spun this round, I'm going this way. This is not faster going this way when you, even if you fuck up, fuck up the driving. Google Home responds to the Konami code, does it? That's cool. Legit can't see that guy. I can sign so. Should have uh, faked this. Oh well. I mean, we still can. We can just fake out on the boat. It's slow, but. We can do it. It's still faster than not faking. What other games am I into other than GTAs? I mean, I'm into a lot of games. 
Uh, some of my favorites are the Amnesia series, Tony Hawk, uh, Skate. But been playing lots of different stuff. Been playing Need for Speed. Uh, did Most Wanted and beat that. We played Hitman Blood Money recently. We're going to play Half-Life 2. We did Half-Life 1 and all the DLCs and stuff recently. He's also into gambling. Yeah, massively into gambling. Absolutely. Half-Life 2 when? We'll do it later on. Couple of hours. Hey, Dama. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. Could have lost my door. I always forget to. Doesn't matter. Plenty of opportunities to. Uh, where am I going? I need to go this way. Make a bribery play. That's what I need to do. I didn't lose my doll there. There we go. What about the episodes? Yeah, so I've heard that apparently... So there's the Half-Life 2 base game. Then there's Lost Coast, which is like an additional extra level. And then there's... Episode 1 and 2, which you should play after, right? Is, is that the order that I should play them in? It's so like Half-Life 2 base game, Lost Coast, Episode 1, Episode 2. Is that right? Yeah? Okay. Lost Coast is just a HDR tech demo. Oh, okay. I thought it was like an actual like expansion of some kind, but... If it's not, then whatever. Yeah, if it's just like a, a tech demo thing, then I won't bother. But I'll play the episodes for sure. We got the rockets, that's what matters. It's cool reason not no 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 reason not to play it. I mean if it's short, then it's just like a 20 minute thing, then why not? We can play it. Can't wait for Half-Life Alex stream. I don't have a uh, a VR setup, so that's the problem. Can I play the game without VR? Is that possible? Is it even worth it? There's a non-VR mod. Is it actually good though? I mean, we can try it. Still can't see. Fucking hell, that's bad. There's a mod, but don't do it. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. This fucking traffic. Legit everywhere I want to be, there's a car.
Fucking hell. How does that not kill any of them? Well, time so I'm actually somehow even with PB, even after losing two minutes in Portland due to that van heist. Uh, not that van heist, um, three vans pattern. I think. How the fuck is it still raining? I've cleared so much rain. I skipped from one rain cycle to the next. Very epic. Of course, there's a cop car there. The one thing you can't despawn. Been complaining about GTA Rain while other plays. El Clasico. Don't you dare. If he had gone around the other side, then I would have had to bribe his ass away and it would have been cringe. I might not have even been able to do it quick enough. My boomer ass reflexes. Are you fucking serious? Unreal. Ah, oh, that was... Very dumb mistake. I don't know how my car took that much damage. Crazy. No worries, robotic freeze. Enjoy dinner, man. Thanks again for the good luck. Damn, Zhaoji got hands. Yeah, the guy's cracked. Told you. Bro's nuts. Well, this was slow and shit. There goes the streak of good golds. Well, the fact that I only lost fucking 20 seconds there is funny. Should have lost like 40, maybe a minute. Being that slow. Definitely a lot of time slow to be had. Going to uh, take advantage of the sun and take the dog out? No worries. Enjoy the rest. I will try my best. Have a good one, brother. Nice 
one. Just shoot the floor in front of him. Yep, nice one. Fucking hell, Ben. He's not exactly a hard target to hit. Donkey. Still golding massively because low rockets. Alright, this is the first thing that we practiced that we could mess up. This jump. Don't fuck this up. And we'll be we'll be in. We got a clean mission here, we'll be in the green. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, I completely was in the wrong place. And I was using the trees as a reference, and the tree wasn't there, and I just got mega confused. All right, well, that's not a great start. We can, we can still still do something with this, but that was not a good start. <laughs> just completely fucking brain farted. Okay, but this is the important bit. Nice, no double explosion, that's really good. Shoots my rocket, good. Alright. Not too bad. But a lot worse. There's a good chance we lose a lot of time on Evan and Stash though. Because we got a good pattern in RPB and bad patterns and good patterns are so different in terms of time. Very, very different. We're still going to be massively in the green. Well, massively as a stretch, but we're still going to save quite a bit of time here. Even though we fucked up the one thing that we practiced. Still in the green anyway, because we're just playing a lot better. My PB is really bad. My PB is very lucky, but it's really bad in terms of like actual execution. So yeah, we'll, we'll, more golds will come if I just play decently. But missions like these that are luck, chance of me golding this is very low. So I need a very good, uh, I need a very good pattern. And this is not a good pattern. It's not bad, but it's not good. Yo, Derp, welcome. Don't turn right. How is that not a collection? This fucking game sucks. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. That wasn't horrific. We don't really have options for good cars. We have this. Don't you fucking dare. Oh, we're still losing time. I thought we would. It wasn't that bad, though. We're not bleeding like a minute, which is good. And we have a ton more options for time save here for free golds and stuff. Especially with an Infernus here, this is really nice. But again, this also depends on whether I get a good cruiser or not, because this is luck. Or do you gain all this time in this mission? It's all based on a random car spawn that you can't really control.
Nice. Not the best spawn, but it's an instant spawn, and that's good. Run going well? I mean, yeah. Certainly can't complain. Staunton is going much better than Portland did. Portland, I lost two minutes to a bad three vans pattern. But Staunton is going a lot better, and I'm making up quite a bit of time. Does top down just not spawn cars at all? Not only does it not spawn cars, but it also despawns cars in front of you. So it's like the double whammy of good shit. Also nice, we got first garage and instant spawn, that's really good. Really, really good. Liberator. Yeah, world record runs only here. True! Bro's getting a look. That was a really good liberator. There's two things that can... That you can get really lucky on there, and I got lucky on both of them. Which is really nice. King Rain. Can't avoid it. I just dodged fog and now I've got to dodge rain again. Look at this time, sir. Woo! For the big gold. Okay, we practice this lineup. Hopefully, it goes well. True subpar gamer, true. You really can't argue with that. No. Nice error lost. I used to do that at work all the time. When I had my two PCs set up, one for work and one for like shit posting on Twitch. I used to fuck it up all the time. I had like a USB switch that would switch between the two. Kept messing it up and typing in the wrong place. Alright. Uh, I'm in the wrong place. Whoops. That's correct. Wrong floor? I'm not on the wrong floor. You don't have to tell me how to do strategies in the game that I'm running. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. Only saved eight seconds because I fucked up the lineup, but plenty more time saved to be had there. You can jump over the broken bridge. Wow. Crazy. Where did you learn that? <sighs> Next time you can fight a dodo. Do we tell him? Insider info on the school playground. I see, I see. I see. My dad works at Grand Theft Auto. For real. See how stack Claude is? He just, uh, he got out of the car, slammed the door, and it fucking broke the door off. Based. Absolute giga chad. How am I not knocking this door off, man? 
I'm going to add the game as a DEP exception. Yeah, if you want your game to never function again, go for it. There we go. Fucking almost had a backflip doing it, but sure that works. We're slow here, but it doesn't matter. As long as you're there for the six package, you don't lose any time. That's the best kind of GTA to do error loss, isn't it? Is the IRL GTA. Sounds like a based guy. No wonder you're such a legend if you've got his genetics. You know? Enjoy breaking the law in the video game. Wait till you try it out in real life. Yeah, that the thrill of actually breaking these laws. Woo, brother. You can go to Florida and collect real coke packages in the ocean. Yeah. Just got to make sure that you uh, you don't piss off the people who are also trying to collect it. <laughs> or, or if you're going to piss them off, don't let them find you. Bring an AK. Yeah. If you're confident at like doing like 1v100 gunfights, then go for it. So place the Coke with Pepsi normal notice. Big. Uh, not that I know of Apache. Most of the 2D players that I know also play 3D. To like a lesser, or at least, you know, the same extent. trying to picture some guy looking at a video game magazine with screenshots for three and ceiling. I mean, they're definitely out there. This isn't really like the same, but it's kind of on the same, in the same breath. Uh, Obi, who is a technical director of these games, uh, swore by his decision that he wanted it, this game to be 2D. And he said in like interviews and stuff, like looking back, that would have been a massive mistake. But at the time, he thought 2D top down was the way to go. And everybody went against his wishes and did 3D, and it turned out, out, out for him to be, like, massively wrong. Because obviously, like, 3D was the way to go. Like, top-down was dead. 3D was massive. 
But he was like, nah, 2D is the way to go, guys. <laughs> he's like, could not have been more wrong. But at least he realized it, you know? He's not like, oh, I, I still think I made the right call. They just got lucky or whatever. Like, no, he was like, yeah, that was a terrible decision in hindsight. But at the time, I, he, like, really believed it, you know? Which is, you know, fair play. This game was seriously ahead of the pack when it came out. I mean, yeah, it, it literally is, was the first of its kind. Like, it was it was the, the trendsetter for these kind of games. Like, nothing else had been done, like, on this scale before. GTA 6 2D, that would be hilarious. If it was a top-down 2D game. Releases on the Game Boy Advance only. Fucking classic. Oh, there goes all my speed for some reason. I was just about to take off too, man. Fuck's sake. Well, we'll lose a bit of time here, but not too bad. We're all real gamers play, yeah. Thanks for the good luck, Shara. Welcome. What is 1D GTA? What even counts as 1D? Like, is there such thing as a 1D game? Is that even possible? Text RPG, yeah. Or just, like, lines, yeah. Not quite the same. Is it even possible for an object to be one-dimensional? That's what I mean, yeah. I, I guess not. No, because objects are by definition three dimensional. But you can have two D objects, right? Or is, does that just like not fit like the norm of the, the definition of an object? I thought they were two dimensional by default, and you can add a third one. I don't know. I'm sh I'm stupid as fuck. I don't know why I'm trying to fucking speculate. I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. I'm just fucking messing with shit. I'm just spouting random crap, you know. And because I'm rich and famous, people will believe me. It's a good guess, but that's a, a shape. It's so close, that's a shape. It's the fruit thing, isn't it? Like, can anyone name a fruit that isn't X or Y? And someone's like, star? <laughs> so close, <laughs> that's a shape. Fucking funny. Like, they, they handled it so well. The amount of insults I would have thrown their way. <laughs> like, they were so nice about it. I would have been a proper fucking asshole. <laughs> oh, dear. Yo, Fikit, thank you. Oh, I am going very fast here. I don't know. Not like this. Uh, I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Woo! That's a questionable flight, but we'll take it. Might sound a bit bent, but I'm like so proud of myself as to how quickly I picked up that strat again. Because I was never good at that strat to begin with. And it's fucking hard. But within like 15, 20 minutes of drilling it, I could do it consistently again. Like I just, I just, my hands could just do it. Like, I'm proud of myself. Uh, can I get out of this shit? Yeah. Bang in. Oh, 
Hopefully that counts as a bribe. I just like kind of skimmed it. Should be alright, I think. Should be right. I should learn the other takeoff here as well. I'm pretty sure it's even more consistent. Uh. And it's faster as well, so no reason to not do it. Only saves a few seconds, but consistency is king in this. But I'm not just going to do it randomly on a run where I'm a minute ahead. Okay, <laughs> push it with your head, Claude. Get it out the fucking road. Get it out, road. God, it flew all the way over there. Holy shit. It went flying. That's cracked. I don't like all those shots that I was taking. That's not ideal. Not like that either. Move, man. And cops are so annoying, you can't just warn them, and they're always in the worst places. Okay, now. Really need to get rid of this door if I can. I don't remember where the convenient places to do it, Lara. I already tried it once and messed it. Thank you for the fun fact there. Not sure it's a fun fact, but it sure is a fact. Yo, Tool, thanks for the GL. Okay, how is the bridge cycle looking? It's coming back now. That's perfect. It's perfect. And I got some weather skip as well, which is nice.
Fucking uh, traffic again. I'm getting so triggered. Oh my god, what is that? How do I spin right there? Just fucking bounce off a bit of door or something. Looks like. The amount of times that I spun my car out doing that. On that mission. Crazy. Was not expecting that launch, yeah. The, the mega jumps don't save like a ton of time, but they're always like the flashiest thing. Like if you've never seen a GTA 3 speedrun before, the things that always like blow people's minds like the mega jumps, like, whoa, <laughs> like what are you doing? <laughs> Just like flinging yourself around the map. Yeah, I'm not surprised I'm losing time here with my car getting spun out like seven times. Fucking annoying. It's a lot of time lost there. Not ideal. Split. The splits are automatic. There is no missing splits. They split on mission start, not end. Uh, Super Black White, someone literally asked that yesterday. If it was true. So, yes, people still speak about it. <laughs> they do indeed. like this for van. I'm gonna fucking land on it if I'm not careful. I'll get blocked by it, whichever. Oh, we're fine. Okay, give me a car. Land stalker's fine. Not great, but fine. I could have switched to the moon boom, but whatever. Or the blister, even. Yeah. That's my top GTA 5, uh, uh, top 5 GTA miss. I was like, it's a top GTA 5 miss, and I was like, I don't know any about those games. I've never, like, been massively into the myth stuff anyway. Like, I never really heard a lot as a kid. So, I don't know. You're Dead Man Pain. Thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Thank you. Yeah, Ratman is a good one from GTA 4. Felt good. We'll see if it actually was. Perfect. That's really good. Don't you dare park on top of it. Fucking hell. Okay, sure. Oh, I did not mean to do that, but that's fine. Just give me this. Get in and out. And of course, the fucking dodo's trapped on one. Oh, what a fucking... Awful set of packages, the locations of them. And I have to fly back with fog. Fuck's sake. Really not good. And I'm gonna be mid flight when I could do when I could skip it as well.
I can't see a thing. Cannot see a thing. Fuck's sake. Do not like weather skipping mid flight. But it's like necessary so I can actually see what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, we're on, we're on, we're on track. Not an ideal landing as a result, but good enough. Slow, just slow, but overall fine. Now all I've got to do is not choke the hardest strat in the game, lol. Classic GTA 3, hardest strat right at the end. As always. Just don't fuck it up, lol. Easy. Just don't fuck it up, lol. Just don't make any mistakes, lol. Hate runs like that? Yeah. The the four hardest missions in GTA 3 are all four of the final missions in terms of strats. Bay, E2G, Sam, and then this. Four of the hardest missions. Or the four hardest missions. And they're all back to back. Which sucks. It's really nasty. And this is the hardest one right at the end. <clears throat> Which is not fun. Alright, let's go. Look at that. 119 already. <laughs> first first proper run with strats. 119. Woo! Residents in Cedar Grove have been coming to terms And look at this. Look how disgusting this is. Look how fucking disgusting this Portland is. I was two two and a half minutes behind in Portland. Look at this. I was over a minute and a half. Or just under a minute and a half on three vans. 45 seconds on scam because I got my fucking thing stuck. How gross. Portland was fucking atrocious. So bad. So bad. But it just shows how fucking bad my actual PB was. 3-115? I don't know about 115, but definitely like a 117 or something is, is free. Without too much extra. Yeah, I messed up a bunch of stuff. So, definitely a lot of uh, room to improve, for sure.